The Naira Redesign Cash Swap Program of the Central Bank of Nigeria launched last Friday to reach the rural and underserved communities in the country took effect on Monday. The program was in addition to other measures earlier taken by the bank to ensure fair and transparent distribution of the newly redesigned Naira nodes nationwide. We have the recordings of the cash swap exercise from various locations across the country in today's package. Also, the CBN Monetary Policy Committee held its first meeting of the year on Monday and Tuesday in Abuja, where members voted unanimously to maintain a tight monetary policy stance. Seven members voted to raise the benchmark interest rate by 100 basis points to 17.5%. We have details of that as well, but that's after this message. Stay tuned. Hey there, have you seen the newly introduced series of 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes? Beautiful banknotes. Beneath those aesthetic features are clearly visible and some invisible security features that are improvements on the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes. The old banknotes will cease to be legal tender on January 31, 2023 when they shall be withdrawn from circulation. On the front of the new banknote, are portrait watermarks, currency value watermark, and figures that change from blue to green when you tilt the banknotes. The new 500 Naira banknote has a silver patch on the left hand side. The new 200 Naira banknote also has a gold patch on the left side. The reverse side of the two banknotes are similar portrait watermarks, see through printing in register, and raised integral print. These features will protect the Naira from counterfeiting. Remember to take your old 200, 500 and 1000 Naira banknotes to your bank or mobile money agent before the deadline of January 31, 2023. For further details, call 0817-665-7641 or 0817-665-7642. The Naira is our national pride. Let's embrace the new currency. This message is from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Welcome back. In the weeks gone by, the Central Bank of Nigeria had sustained its Naira redesign sensitization campaigns at major markets and religious centers across the country, enforcing speedy collection of the new notes at CBN branches by deposit money banks and mandating its issuance through automated teller machines, ATMs, to ensure distribution is fair, transparent, and evenly spread. Last Friday, the Apex Bank took it a step further by launching a cash swap program in recognition of the need to maximize the channels through which underserved and rural communities can exchange their old Naira notes for new ones or for the lower denominations, which remain valid. Implementation began on Monday in partnership with super agents and DMBs. Here's a few of the recordings taken from the exercise across the country. A team member is seen here addressing agents who have collected the new Naira banknotes at Access Bank at Dejia, Jigawa State. With the cash swap program, the hold 1,000 Naira, 500 Naira and 200 Naira banknotes are exchanged for the newly redesigned ones or the existing lower denominations of 100 Naira, 50 Naira and 20 Naira as they remain legal tender. An agent who has received the newly redesigned Naira notes can be seen here swapping for customers in Ore, Undo State. Agents exchange a maximum of 10,000 Naira per person. Any amount above 10,000 Naira are treated as cash deposits into wallets or bank accounts in line with the cashless policy. An FBN agent at Sabo Market, also in Ore, Undo State, is seen here attending to those who came off to swap their old notes for the redesigned ones. <music> to promote financial inclusion, the swap service is also available to anybody without a bank account. There was a large turnout of people at Gidei local government for the currency swap exercise. 
Agents may, on request, instantly open a wallet account, leveraging the CBN tiered KYC framework. This ensures that this category of the populace are able to exchange or deposit their cash seamlessly without taking unnecessary risk or incurring undue cost. This is Kurugu Market, Malam Sidi, Kwame local government area of Gombe State. A large turnout here as well. A super agent carrying out the cash swap exercise here at Ubahong, local government area of Adamawa State. There is a long queue of men waiting to swap their old money for new ones here at Duku local government area, Gombe State. This woman named Aishatu excitedly displays her newly swapped 500 Naira notes at Malam Sidi, Kwame area of Gombe State. Ruth Kingsley is a money point agent from Kolo, Ogbea, local government area, Bayelsa State, happy to get the newly redesigned banknote. <music> Officials of the Central Bank of Nigeria midweek took the Naira redesign sensitization campaign to Ekwe, Lagos State. They met with market women who mostly trade in fish. The market women expressed their concerns. Those of us in the market can make and accept money transfers. We can buy and sell goods with it. But those at the water side may not. What we want you to do is this. Just as you have said that you can make money transfer, those at the water side also have mobile phones. Yes, they have phones. Anyone who has mobile phones to call his children in school and his wife to be able to make money transfer using USSD code, we appeal to you in God's name to promote them and let them know. You see those fishermen, many of them are not educated. Let them go to the bank and speak with the bank manager. The manager will help them to open an account and when they come to town to sell, they can go to the bank and collect their money and conduct transactions. So, help us to promote the use of phone transactions because that is the future. Well, we are all here in the market and every one of the market women can hear you. I was at the bank this morning and I was still given the old Naira notes that's even crisp and clean. The bank did not pay with the new notes. Now that the bank still gives the old notes and we are being told not to collect it anymore, what are we to do with the ones already received? Because it is not clear, and we are market women. This is the popular fish market in the pair, um, and the message has been the same. January 31st remains the deadline for the newly redesigned 1,500 and 200 Naira notes. And we have brought the message of the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria to all nook and crannies, especially the riverine area, to the people of Ekwe, to say, please, 
bring out your old 1,500 and 200 Naira notes. As we speak, it is still a legal tender, yes. But come January 31, there will be no extension. And so we are pleading with our market women, our fishermen. That is why we have come to the River Ride area ourselves to preach the same message, to let them know that January 31 is just a few days from now. They can take their existing 1,500 and 200 Naira notes to any bank around them. And of course, get the new notes. We have heard the concerns of the people of Ekwe that they've not been able to access some of these new notes. But they've also confirmed that where they use the ATM, they are able to get these new notes. So we are encouraging everyone, please use the ATM channels of your bank. The new notes are available there. And for those large volume transactions, because we know what Ekwe is known for, the fish, the big fishermen and our big market women, please, for the volume of transaction that you want to do that is above the ATM, kindly go into the bank and do your and, and, and um, embrace the cashless options. The banks are there to assist you. The CBN is there to support you. We want us to embrace cashless. The volume of cash in circulation is extremely on the high side. It's costly. It's not safe. And that's why we are saying let's embrace cash. But in the meanwhile, the average Nigerian can go to the ATM and have access to the new 1,500 and 200 Naira notes. Thereafter, the CBN officials visited the two paramount rulers in Ekwe, the Oloja of Ekwe and the Olu Ekwe of Ekwe Kingdom. We accept the new currency by the CBN from the federal government. But what we are agitating for is that to make sure that the, the money is available to all banks so our people can get it through the banks. And then that you have made it available for the POS, we thank you for that. I must inspire the ATM and then considering some of the bigger business organizations. Our agitating is that the money has to be available in all banks. And you have to employ banks to pay this money, new money, new note, to everybody. Ekpe has a difficult terrain. If you want, before, if you live here, before you get there, it's only through water. And it will take you some time. What will happen to those areas? So please, when you go back to office, you shall way of our doing things. If you don't want many people to be disadvantaged, consider extending the time further. That's just a request which you must take very many things into consideration. Hey there, have you seen the newly introduced series of 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes? Beautiful banknotes. Beneath those aesthetic features are clearly visible and some invisible security features that are improvements on the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes. The old banknotes will cease to be legal tender on January 31, 2023 when they shall be withdrawn from circulation. On the front of the new banknotes are portrait watermarks currency value watermark and figures that change from blue to green when you tilt the banknotes. The new 500 Naira banknote has a silver patch on the left hand side. The new 200 Naira banknote also has a gold patch on the left side. The reverse side of the two banknotes are similar. Portrait watermarks, see-through printing in register and raised integral print. These features will protect the Naira from counterfeiting. Remember to take your old 200, 500 and 1000 Naira banknotes to your bank or mobile money agent before the deadline of January 31, 2023. For further details, call 0817-665-7641 or 0817-665-7642. The Naira is our national pride. Let's embrace the new currency. This message is from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Thanks for staying tuned. You are watching from the CBN. 
a weekly program that brings to you reports and expert analysis of the actions, policies, events, and economic initiatives of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. All 12 members of the CBN Monetary Policy Committee attended the two-day statutory bi-monthly meeting at the headquarters Abuja. All agreed that the monetary policy rate should be further tightened, but at varying basis points. Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin M. Feli, at the committee's press briefing Tuesday afternoon said that optimism for a rebound in global output recovery has waned considerably, giving room for increased concerns of a likely global recession this year. The committee noted with concern the growing evidence of increased militar militarization of the war in Ukraine and the consequence of a prolonged war on the recovery of the global economy. It also noted the renewed concern of the possibility of yet another pandemic reverberating the global economy in 2023 as infections, infection rates rise in China following its lifting of COVID-19 restrictions. Two factors alongside the tightening of global financial conditions associated with the ongoing normalization of monetary policy in the advanced economies remain major headwinds to global economic growth. The combined impact of these shocks on the global economy could result in further disruptions to commodity and energy markets, as well as the efficient functioning of global supply chains. In the global financial markets, the continued normalization of monetary policy has led to the tightening of external financial conditions and increased volatility in equities market. With the increased fears of a likely global recession in 2023, investors have commenced a move towards safe haven assets, such as gold and silver, to safeguard their portfolios. In the domestic economy, however, positive growth has been recorded for eight consecutive quarters, driven largely by the support given to the growth-enhancing sectors by both monetary and fiscal authorities. Projections showed that output growth recovery is expected to continue reasonably in the year. Star projections showed that output growth recovery is expected to continue reasonably in 2023, given the expected sustained positive performance during the fourth quarter of 2022 and steady rebound in economic activities. MPC welcomed the moderation in inflation following 10 consecutive months of optic as headline inflation year on year, declined marginally to 21.34% in December 2022 from 21.47% in November 2022. Month on month headline inflation, however, increased to 1.71% in December 2022 from 1.39% in the preceding month due to a rise in consumer spending during the festive period. MPC reviewed the performance of the bank's various interventions aimed at stimulating production and productivity across major sectors. Under the 100 for 100 policy and production and productivity PPP, for instance, in the quarter under review, the bank disbursed about 21 billion naira to nine projects in healthcare, manufacturing and services. Between September and October 2022, under the Ancobras program, the bank disbursed 41 billion naira to several agricultural projects, bringing cumulative disbursement under that program to 1.067 trillion naira, to over 4.6 million share smallholder farmers, cultivating or rearing 21 commodities across the country. The bank also released 300 million naira to finance large-scale agricultural projects under the commercial. Agricultural Credit Scheme CACs bring a total disbursement under the, the scheme to 745 billion naira for 680 projects in agro production and agro processing. In addition, the bank released the sum of 48.3 billion naira under the, its 1 trillion naira real sector facility to seven new real sector projects in agriculture, manufacturing, and services. Cumulative disbursements under the real sector facility currently stands at 2.15 trillion naira, disbursed to 437 projects across the country, comprising 240 manufacturing, 
91 in agriculture, 93 in services, and 13 mining sector projects. The bank released 4 billion naira under the intervention facility for the National Gas Expansion Program to promote the adoption of compressed natural gas as the preferred fuel for transportation and liquefied petroleum gas as a preferred cooking fuel. In the SME sector, the bank supported entrepreneurship development with the disbursement of the sum of 1.3 billion naira and 10 million naira under the Agribusiness Small and Medium Enterprise Scheme and Micro Small and Medium Enterprise Development Fund, respectively, to support entrepreneurship development in the country, bringing total disbursements under the interventions to and to 150 billion naira and 96 billion naira, respectively, under the Export Facilitation Initiative. The bank exports reoriented projects with a sum of 5.34 billion naira, bringing the cumulative disbursement under the intervention to 44.58 billion naira. Going by available data and forecast for key macroeconomic indicators for Nigeria, the economy is projected to grow through 2023, but at a subdued pace. The continued high level of insecurity, perennial scarcity of P petroleum motor spirit PMS, and high cost of other energy sources, increased spending towards the 2023 general election, rising cost of debt servicing, and deteriorating fiscal balances remain the key sources of shocks to the Nigerian economy. Accordingly, the economy is forecast to grow in 2023 by 2.88% by the CBN estimate, 4.2% federal government estimate, and 3% by the IMF estimate. Deliberating on its monetary policy decision, the committee was reluctant to consider a hold option as that will signal a quick adjustment due to a one-time marginal decline in inflation and may suggest a weak confidence in its previous policy stance at taming inflation. The dilemma at this meeting was whether to continue tightening aggressively or moderately. To the committee, a moderate tightening may slow the rate of deceleration inflation without necessarily hurting output. For those members who felt that an aggressive stance was needed, they were of the view that Nigeria's inflation at a rate above 20% was already a threat to growth and among the highest in the world. To this group of members, aggressively raising the policy rate was paramount to reigning in inflation because an aggressive tightening stance will further narrow the negative real interest rate margin. MPC also feels <clears throat> that a tightening stance would signal confidence in the effectiveness of its monetary policy direction to rein in inflation, improve financial system stability, and moderate exchange rate. MPC was of the view that although inflation rate moderated marginally in December, the economy remained confronted with the risk of high inflation with adverse consequences on the general standard of living. The committee therefore decided to sustain the current stance of policy at this point in time to further rein in inf inflation aggressively. One member voted to increase the NPR by 150 basis points, four members by 50 basis points, and seven members by 100 basis points. In summary, MPC voted to, one, raise NPR to 17.5%, two, retain the asymmetric corridor at plus 100 and minus 700 basis points around the corridor, and three, retain the CRR at 2.5% and 4 retain the liquidity ratio at 30%. The Bank of Nigeria on Thursday unveiled the National Domestic Card Scheme named AFRIGO to deepen the usage of electronic platforms in Nigeria and strengthen the national payment system. 
We have details in subsequent episodes from the CBN. Meanwhile, you can report on reserved banking issues to the CBN Consumer Protection Department using the email cpd at cbn.gov.ng attached relevant documents. Call the CBN contact center on the phone line plus 234-700-2255-226. Local call rates may apply. Write to us through the email address from the CBN at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter for updates and to watch up-to-date episodes of the program. We invite you to join us again next time. I am Uliye Misi Dada. Stay safe. Bye for now.